yes, it is another Honda Element. That's what we've got. 2005 Honda Element. I believe this is an EX submodel. All wheel drive, or as they like to call it, real time. All wheel drive. Although I think that's an A. I don't think that's supposed to be a four. Either way, that's what it is. All wheel drive. Automatic transmission. 118,000 miles and counting. Black over black. And uh, yeah, pretty sweet little car. Let's go over it, see what there is to see. I'm gonna try and make this a slightly brief-ish video, which means I'm probably gonna run long, which means it's probably gonna be long. So I apologize in advance, but let's check it out. Windows, go up and down. Mirrors are adjusting with power. Power locks are locking. And I'm always surprised how much leg room there is in these things. I mean, it's, it's kind of a lot. That's like seven series extended wheelbase levels of leg room. It's got the cool pop-up rear sunroof. Now there are a couple of things that could use some attention on this car. One is this driver's seat for sure has some wear and tear. It's so comfortable, it's not falling apart, but it definitely, these vinyl side pieces are really worn a lot worse than the cloth inserts. Um, thankfully, vinyl's fairly easy to have fixed or replaced or repaired, so if you wanted to get it taken care of, it's not exactly moving mountains to make that happen. I would say it's certainly the worst part about this car is going to be this driver's seat. And there's a little bit of early signs of it on the passenger seat. We'll see a little better when we get over there. There's some wear on the top of the steering wheel. But otherwise, it's quite nice in here. One eighteen two two five is the current mileage and counting. Got a radio. Chicken filet. Thick, crinkle cut AC is blowing cold, which is nice. Another aux in. The box. Also, you can see, so these cars didn't come with carpet. It came with this cool all weather vinyl flooring. And this one is a little stretched out, which is not uncommon for these, but this one definitely shows it. It's a little baggy, for lack of a better way to put it. You don't trip on it or anything, but it's definitely noteworthy. Not quite as bad in the rear, but definitely still there. Oh, and it comes with the frost blocker, winter windshield and mirror covers. Gratis, that comes with it. But as you know, these seats fold flat. Let's go look at the other side. Let's look at the back. Let's pop the hood real quick before we go for a ride. Running as it should. Look at how wiggly that airbox looks. And it's actually quite smooth. You look at the motor, it's not doing too much of wiggling. Now's as good a time as any to look at some of the exterior imperfections. There is some checking in the paint on the hood, which I've seen on these before. 
I usually see, I've seen them a bunch on Subarus, but there is some paint checking of the factory paint here. The paint code B92P, which is a uh, Honda Nighthawk Black, I believe. I think it's still Nighthawk Black in, in 05. We got some, got a bullseye here in the glass with a little crack. Goes to, not even that far, goes to about there and then stops. And there's another one of those on the other side. Thankfully, you don't really see it when you're driving it, but it is there. And here's that other one on the other side. Quite a bit smaller, but it's there. Um, maybe get a better angle of the paint checking. And it's really only here on the hood. There is a little bird dropping mark here on the top of this fender. A little scratchy scratch here. But really, all the plastics are in very, very good shape. These like to fade out a little bit, and these ones aren't faded at all. These tires are practically new. I didn't look at the date code on them. Let's see if I can find them. 04 of 16. So they're about five years old, but they got a ton of, ton of tread on them. They look really good. Paint, all this stuff looks good. This is probably the biggest scratch on the paint, is there's this one here, which is, I don't know, what was that, four inches long? No comment? And as you can see, these tires are quite meaty. The Uniroyal Tiger Paw, which is maybe not the most thrilling tire in the world, but they are there and they are meaty. Back bumper couple of marks on it, but the worst thing about it is it's kind of this impact molding here is kind of popped out. Let's see if it wants to stay. Not really. It's just kind of snapped out of place. And then a couple little marks on it. Nothing too crazy. There's another scratch here under the emblem. But otherwise a very, very clean car. Little minor ding there. Couple of dings on this door if I'm getting really, really picky. You gotta catch it at the right angle to really see them. There's another couple little ones here. Super minor door dings. There's one here right on the body line. Typical parking lot stuff, nothing a even remotely competent PDR tech couldn't handle. And one thing I literally just noticed right now, one of these claddings is not like the other. Black. Black. That is definitely gray. I don't know how I didn't notice it till right now, but you know, this is why we do this kind of thing, right? So somebody's replaced at least that cladding before. And I see this fender liner has been replaced. It's kind of popping out right here. Hmm, all the structure looks good. So if somebody replaced this little fender cladding here, this plastic fender. Doesn't look like anything underneath it was affected. Yeah, that, this one is still the original. This upper fender looks good. The paint matches real well with the metallic black. If it was replaced, you can usually tell because those metallics will lay down a little bit different. Don't ask me how I know. See, now I'm curious. I want to pop this hood and we'll look at the top of the fender and see if we can see any any signs that the fenders, the metal portion anyway, has been off the car. And it doesn't look like it. We still have the VIN number right there. There's no marring on these bolts at all. You know, there's no paint. Like somebody got a wrench on there and, and took this fender off. This upper rail looks really good. Those are all factory seams and seam sealer. So yeah, somebody replaced that one cladding with a gray one, which is hilarious. So now you know. Um, I think that's it. Let's pop the back real quick. And we'll drive this thing. See, I doomed, I doomed us all because I said this is gonna be a short video and now I'm finding things live and on the fly. And this video is gonna run long. But you know, knowledge is power. 
And I want to make sure anyone who's bidding on this car, looking to purchase it, has all the knowledge, all of the power, knows what's going on with it. Pretty typical. Nothing fancy back here, some dust. You know, these cars got used. These were the Weekend Warrior special. People take them camping, on trails and such, so. Oh, dirt in some of the crevices is to be expected. I did say I was gonna open this side up, so let's check it out. Here's my little dust rag in the door, ignore that. A couple of minor scratches here. And then as I was trying to say about these seats, let me get some shade in here so maybe we can see. This seam is starting to go, it's still intact. But you can see the vinyl is pulling away from the seam. And it's doing it on this side too, though not quite as bad. Otherwise, it's in great shape. So before I find something else to ramble on a bit further, why don't we just go ahead, get behind the wheel, and uh, drive this thing. Just a short drive. Nobody's really interested in, in seeing someone drive one of these too hard or too aggressively or much anything other than demonstrate how it runs. So let's do just that, shall we? Okie dokie. Let's go ahead. Go for a quick drive. We're not going to spend too much time with this one. Just going to show how lovely it is. So 
that's pretty much it with the element. Um, catch it right here, right now, uh, over on carsandbids.com. Get you get your bids in a bit often, a bit early, and um, yeah. Thanks for going on a drive and checking out the car with me. And uh, yeah, that's it. Doodles.